I mean, it means a lot. Um, this program been down for a while, and uh, Coach Fisher came in here, did a pretty great job with recruiting and rebuilding this program. And uh, just to be a part of something special, to be able to bring this program back, you know, watching watching this program when I was a young child, and to be a part of it and be a part of something special, it, it's no better feeling right now. To our left. For both players, Tom D'Angelo, Palm Beach Post, could you both talk about what you envisioned at the end of last year? Could you have envisioned this, and uh, and now what you know what what this will mean as you guys leave, having left this as your final season? Uh, it, it, we we did envision this um, after last season because we felt like we left a lot out there on the table. Uh, we felt like you know. It, it was so much that, that we were supposed to accomplish that we came back and we had a little vent, not a vendetta like Coach said, it was, it was just a reckoning. You know, we're trying to put ourselves back to what we're supposed to be. So uh, I hope that answered. I mean, I said at the beginning of the season, uh, it was about us. And uh, if you just look at the progress that we made over the years, you know, the Chick-fil-A Bowl, the Champ Sports Bowl, the Orange Bowl, we, we just kept getting better. We kept climbing the ladder, and that's what I envisioned to do, coming back as a senior leader to just keep climbing that ladder. I'm going to say this about these seniors. I've never been around a group of kids who play the most – play selfless. Like I said, we have a saying, play don't care who makes it. They don't care who makes it, just so somebody makes it, and they're the happiest in the world. I've ne this group of guys plays for each other, and it's hard for each other as any group I've ever been around. To our right. <clears throat> Tell me, why do you think you guys never had a letdown throughout the year? Just <laughs> bombarded everyone you played. Um, our attitude. You know, um, that, that's what it started with, our attitude. We came out and we said, you know, we got one job to do, and that's win. Whatever, whatever happened, we're going to win. Whatever it takes, believing in the man next to you. Love is the reason for the fight. That's what we've been going by all, all season. So that our attitude. Front row. My question is for LaMarcus, Danny Morales of Skyboat.com. A, a lot's been made about your offense. You guys have a Heisman caliber quarterback, but your defense has been playing great all season, only gave up seven points today, and it was very late. How, what's the confidence level of this defense going up to play the number two team in the country? I mean, I wouldn't say it's necessary the confidence of his defense. I'll just say – um, the power of preparation, the way we prepare um, week in and week out. Um, that's where our confidence comes from. So when the game comes, it's easy. So tonight is over. Tonight is done. Um, we have to just do the little things that we've been doing all season. And um, by the time we're in California and ready to play that national championship, then I'll be able to say that we're confident. But it's all about the power of preparation and what we do throughout this week and the weeks to come to um, prepare for this game. Right in front of us. Mark Schwartz with ESPN. For both players, start with LaMarcus, then Telvin. Given what Jameis has been through over the last few weeks, what have you seen from him and what did you see from him tonight that tells you what he's made of? Um, he's a kid. Everyone is appointed a time when they're to be a leader. Um, he had a natural ability to be a leader. And for a guy, especially to be a young guy of this organization, to already have so much pressure and stress on him, and then to add on to the negativity and the way he embraced it and kept fighting for us. Because he could have easily went, in and went into a tank. And to, you know, to keep all that weight on his shoulders and step up like a grown man just because of his brothers. That's, he's, he's a special young man, and he, he deserves everything that he gets. In my honest opinion, I feel like it's not um, – the ACC conference versus the SEC conference is Florida State versus Auburn. It's a bunch of great, talented group of kids over here versus a great group of talented kids there. I mean, we the, the, it's all about eliminating the clutter. I mean, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that they're a good football team, but it's us versus them. We don't really look at it from that standpoint because at the end of the day, you got to line up and play in between the white lines for 60 minutes. Um, we, we, I always like to quote what we always talk about, but we say our team has no face. So um, when we say that, you know, we're not looking at them and saying, oh, they Auburn, or we're not looking at them saying, oh, they come from the SEC, or, you know, whoever it may be. We, we go out there and compete against ourselves. So uh, we're we not, you know, they're a good team like Jordan said. So we're going to go out there and prepare for a great, a great game, a great team.